Welcome to Asian Anifax, the channel about Chinese, Korean, Taiwanese actors and actresses. Today I will show you the lists of dramas of Tiffany Tang, Part 8, Master of Destiny, 2015, Cast, Tiffany Tang, Guest Role, Hoi Lao, Liza Wong, Edwin Xu, Angie Chiu, Monica Mock. She played Tangy, an oncologist at a children's hospital, sentimental and usually busy with work as she can't bear to see children suffering. Yang Yi's fiancé, Chao Ziyuan, is the second son of a wealthy family and a director at their family corporation. Tang Yi was picked up by Chao Ziyuan at the hospital as she nearly forgot that her fiancé invited her to their house to meet his family as they are about to get married. However, after Tang Yi meets Chao Ziyuan's family a chaos happens in the family, fortunately it was handled well by Chao Ziyuan's mother. Tang Yi met Chao Ziyuan abroad when she and her friend were being harassed in a karaoke bar and Chao Ziyuan rescued them. Tang Yi and Chao Ziyuan became friends, then lovers. Although Tang Yi lives a good life now, she showed Chao Ziyuan the place she used to live when she was young, with her sister and grandmother. Tang Yi's honesty made Chao Ziyuan love her more, and even though Tang Yi concerned they may not do well together as they live a different world, Chao Ziyuan assured her that he truly loves her and then he proposes marriage to her. However, when Tang Yi's physical exam result shows that she had leukemia, she broke up her engagement with Chao Ziyuan and went away to bear the illness alone. Tang Yi was later found by Chao Ziyuan, who never gave up looking for her after he found out she's sick and went missing. Through the help of Chao Ziyuan's mother, who suggested he looks in places with many children as she knows Tang Yi really likes children, and she was not wrong. Tang Yi was stunned to see Chao Ziyuan and was persuaded by Chao Ziyuan to reconcile and return with him, to have her checked and cured in the hospital. However, a car accident killed Tang Yi that involves Chao Ziyuan's younger brother who was feeling guilty for her death but could not tell his brother the truth, which was used by a scheming woman who saw the accident as a way to control Chao Ziyuan's younger brother and plot a scheme to ruin the Chao family. The Lost Tomb 2015 Cast Tiffany Tang Li Yi Feng Yang Yang Chung Pei Pei Ken Chong Wei Wei she played a Ning, a shrewd, capable, beautiful and intelligent female explorer, belongs to the company headed by a man who stole a silk book owned by Wu Xia's grandfather. Wu Xia is descended from the founding members of Old Nine Gates with a long-standing history of tomb raiding. His parents were both archaeologists who were killed by other tomb raiders, which was the reason he was sent to study abroad for his own safety. A Ning was tasked by his boss to recover an artifact that was found by Wu Xia. A Ning and her henchmen tried to catch Wu Xia, but because of the sudden appearance of a mysterious man, A Ning was ordered by her boss to let go of Wu Xia and the artifacts. Later, A Ning encountered Wu Xia and his team as she and her henchmen were looking for the same artifacts and secret of the tomb that was written in the silk book. A Ning was bitten by the corpse eater bug and was saved by Wu Xia but she refused first to accept his help, but when one of Wu Xie's team knock her out, she woke up being bandaged in her arms that was bitten by the corpse-eater bug. Then a Ning, Wu Xie, and his team walked together to escape the tomb. Diamond Lover 2015 Cast Tiffany Tang Rain Luo Jin Dilraba Dilmarat Wang Dong Zhang Wen. She played Mi Duo, a big ugly woman weighing 250 pounds. Mi Duo has an inferior and cowardly personality, never dares to fight for what she wants, and is a loser in the workplace and in relationships. Mi Duo fell in love with Xiao Liang at first sight, but was hurt by his dislike and contempt, and could not confess her feelings for him. Xiao Liang is the CEO of Carrot Diamond Company that has a perfect and lofty image adored by many women, 
but he does not know how to love and used to controlling everything with reason and interests. Mi Duo had a car accident that required her to undergo plastic surgery, which made her slim and beautiful. Now Mi Duo with a new appearance that gives her full confidence applied for a job at Xiaoliang's company to become a designer assistant. But after Mi Duo experienced the double whammy of falling out of love and losing her job, she realized that beauty is not a passport to love, so she no longer bothered by beauty and ugliness as she wants to become a qualified jewelry designer. Although Miduo had experienced various setbacks in the workplace and had repeatedly failed, she never gave up. Miduo's optimism and positivity deeply attracted Xiao Liang and developed feelings for her. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.